ejection fraction is equal to stroke volume divided by end diastolic volume. Stroke volume is the difference between end diastolic volume and end systolic volume. In summary, ejection fraction is the fraction of end diastolic volume of the left ventricle which is ejected out in systole. Modified Simpson's rule for left ventricular ejection fraction is used in echocardiography, cardiac magnetic resonance imaging, left ventricular angiography and computed tomography. Basic assumption in Simpson's rule is that the shape of the left ventricular cavity is a composite of a cylinder from base to the level of the mitral wall, a truncated cone from the mitral wall level to the level of the papillary muscles and a cone from there to the apex. Total volume is the sum of the three components. In the figure, L length of the left ventricle from base to apex, AM cross-sectional area of the cylindrical portion, AP cross-sectional area of the base of the conical portion, volume of the cylindrical portion, base area of the cylindrical portion multiplied by one-third of the left ventricular length, volume of the truncated cone, cone, average of base area and top area of truncated cone multiplied by one-third of left ventricular length, volume of the cone, one-third of the base area of the cone multiplied by one-third of total left ventricular length. In modified Simpson's rule, these three sections are assumed to be of equal length or height if kept vertically. In echocardiography, apical four-chamber view and two-chamber view are obtained in both systole and diastole. The endocardial borders are traced out. The computer algorithm divides the left ventricular cavity into discs, usually 20 in number. Sum of volumes of these discs will give the left ventricular volume. This is the method recommended by American Society of Echocardiography. In other modalities of imaging also, the same principle is applied. In CMR and CT, the thickness of the slice is taken as the interval between the slices. In invasive left ventricular graphy, biplane orthogonal Cine angiography is required to apply the modified Simpson's rule.